Well, you might be wondering why I have an elf on my shoulder. Today we're going to make a Hungarian dish called Forgács Funk. It's something that my mom used to make around the holiday time and it is so good. So this elf here is gonna help me make it. All right, let's get cooking. Okay, so welcome back. So the first thing you wanna do is get a large pot and you're going to put canola oil. I used the uh, Crisco Pure Canola Oil and I used the entire bottle. And you need a deep frying thermometer and you want it to be where it's touching the oil. And we're going to heat this up. I'm gonna put it on kind of like a low flame for right now. But uh, you need to heat this up till three to 350 degrees. So when this is 350 degrees, that's when you know you're ready for the deep fry. So now let's make our dough. Okay, so we're back and we're gonna be making our delicious Hungarian forgac funk. Uh, funk in Hungarian means donut and forgac means chips. So I guess it means chips of donuts, but it's also known as angel wings. And that's why you really want to make this around the holiday time. Oh, it's so good. And it looks really, really pretty too. But you can make them any time of the year. At least I do. Um, so anyway, for the dough, we're going to start out with three egg yolks. So I already got those. Those are my egg yolks. We're going to need two tablespoons of sugar. Let me get my measuring spoon. Two tablespoons. One, two, and also a pinch, just a pinch of salt. And I'm going to put that or beat that just until it mixes all together and is nice and thick. sour cream I'm going to use a half teaspoon half teaspoon of rum extract you can use vanilla but I like to use the rum I'm also going to use some lemon zest. Lemon is very traditional, so you definitely want to add that. Probably want to get like, just go all the way around the lemon. That's how much zest you would probably need. Okay, so we have our, uh, first we beat up our three egg yolks, we beat up our two, ta had two tablespoons of sugar in there, and a pinch of salt, we beat that up, and then we added um, half a cup of uh, sour cream, and then a half a teaspoon of uh, rum extract, but like I said, you can also use vanilla extract. We also used the zest of a lemon, and now we're going to mix it together. Actually, I do it in three parts. I'm 
Okay, this looks pretty good. Um, it's a very sticky dough. Basically, um, you just have to kind of pull these. Let me just take these off. And you're going to pull it off. Now, this may look like a small amount, but it's going to actually make a lot of photo touch funk. So, all right. I'm going to flour my board. Get my dough. And what I'm going to do with this dough is I'm going to knead it. Um, basically, when you knead, you should always be using your the palm of your hand when you knead. Right now, I am kind of putting this in a ball. And I'm also going to take half of it because uh, you have to do it in sections. So, so before I knead, I should say, I'm going to make sure everything is put together. I actually have a little bit in here I could add to it. You don't want to waste anything. And this looks pretty good. Hopefully you can see how I'm going to move that. And I'm going to knead it, and I'm going to start with, my hand, with the palm of my hands. Just kneading it like that. Fold it in, fold it in. Knead, fold it in, fold it in. Knead, fold it in. <laughs> Need. And you want to do this, I don't know, just uh, probably about a minute or two, probably about two minutes or so. Just keep kneading. It's important to knead the dough. This gives you a good workout. Okay, looking good. All right, so now what you want to do is you're going to get your pastry cutter, if you have one, otherwise just kind of use a knife. And you're going to take half, and I'm going to wrap the other half in some plastic wrap. And put that aside. And then I'm going to roll out this dough, so stay tuned. Okay, so we're back. We're gonna roll out our dough, and let me get my rolling pin. And you wanna roll out this dough, it's approximately like a 12 by 12. And it's very, very important that you roll it out and make it very thin. Okay, that's, gonna, that's the secret of photo Dutch funk is that you roll it out very thinly. All right, so this looks pretty good. Let me move this out of the way so you can see. I'm just gonna get a, um, a knife here. And I'm just going to make some slits going down. And it's probably about an inch or two in between. I, I'm, I'm doing more of two inches, okay? And once you have that, then you can cut them diagonal, which I like to do probably like 
do two slits for one piece. All right, and now I'm gonna show you how to make your angel wings, so stay tuned. All right, so one thing you wanna grab is a cooking sheet just to place these uh, Fotogatch Funk on, and this is how I make the angel wings. So basically, you have your piece, you're going to put a slit in the middle, probably about an inch. And I know they're all different sizes and that's okay. Let me kind of cut this one a little bit better. You could have small ones, you could have big ones. All right, so let me take this one right here. So basically you have your slit, see the slit in the middle, and you're just gonna get one side, you're gonna pull it through, and that's it. And it makes little angel wings, isn't that cute? And I'm gonna put that right there. Once again, watch, let's see, I have my slit in the middle, get one side, put it through, pull it, just like that. Look how pretty, awesome. And then I'm gonna keep doing that and I'm going to finish up my dough and then we're going to put it in the oil and cook it up. So stay tuned. Okay, so we're gonna start to uh, fry these and uh, you're just going to just drop them in. Pro I do like three at a time. And one thing that you have to do is you have to do it only for like 10 seconds. So you gotta be kinda quick here. Fry those up. You want them like a golden brown. So like 10 seconds or so on each side. Let me start flipping. Two brown. It just should be a golden brown. And I think these look like they're about done. you want to put them on a paper towel and then I'm gonna drop some more I'm gonna do four this time I think I can manage four in there you don't want to put too many I really like how they just puff up looking really good Okay, so I'm gonna continue working on these and when we're back, we're gonna do something really special to them, so stay tuned. These are looking really, really good. Oh, wow. Perfect color. You don't wanna make them too brown. I have my layered paper towels here, so I'm just putting them over here. Slotted spoon is super important. Make sure that you don't have all that oil on it. And then you're just going to let them drain on the paper towel. My mom would be proud. All right. Now I just got a few more to do and we'll be back. Okay, so we're back and we're going to just put our Fotogatch Funk together. I'm going to use one of these um, powdered sugar sifters and I'm just going to sprinkle them with powdered sugar. Oh, look at that, that looks so good. Oh my gosh, yummy, yummy, yum. And this is, like I said, it's really a nice uh, dessert to make for the holidays or any time of the year, really. Make sure you add uh, lots of powdered sugar. Make sure it's all covered with powdered sugar. Hello, hey, hi, Elf. You helping? He didn't really do too much. I did most of the work. 
It's a little labor intensive to make these, but I'm telling you, it is so worth it. Awesome. Look at that. Oh, look at them. They look so good. Look at that. Can you see that? Let me show you up close. Oh, look at that. Oh, it looks so good. All right, so of course, you cannot resist. Mmm. Mmm. All right. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Nice and flaky. The powdered sugar really gives it the sweetness. Mmm. I love it. Mm. So good, I definitely want another one. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for um, stopping by and watching Happy Cooking with Yvonne Douglas. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like this video. And the elf. Happy cooking, bye bye. Mm. So good. Mm.